Now, the Senate has, on several occasions, you know, expressed concern about some of the agreements the Nigerian government has entered into on behalf of the country. That some of these agreements, you know, do not, do not, you know, are to the detriment of the country, more or less. You know, is is this a concern for you? I quite agree with you that there have been a lot of challenges on the kind of agreement we sign as a country. And um, I must say this, that um, one of our fears on this engineer project is that um, a junior project only refers to 200,000 barrels of oil per day. From the inception of this project in 2013, just about last week, the gas content of this project, they were silent on them. We just discovered it. And that will also run to several millions of dollars, which are some of those facts that are hidden. And I quite agree with you that there is need for us to be careful with the kind of agreement we sign on behalf of this country. And I believe it will not be out of place for this Senate or the National Assembly to put in place an act that was so far agreement we are signing on behalf of the country, being the representative of the people, we have to be part and parcel of it. And there is need for them to refer such agreement to us. Now, in, in that motion, I get a sense that one of the critical issues is the issue of local content. And we have a national local content monitoring board, development monitoring board, supposed to be looking at this kind of issues, particularly in the oil and gas sector. Would you say that they have been up to speed in doing this? Let me give you a synopsis or an idea of what the achievement has been. In the past, as I've said earlier on, um, what we usually have is 5% of this IOC's budget being spent in Nigeria. But now, as we speak, the achievement we have made as a result of this act, that is the local content act, has gone as much as 28 to 30%, which is a sharp difference from what we usually have in the past. And the overall target by 2027 is to eat about 70% of the compliance with the Local Content Act. So if you are coming from 5%, now we are within 30%, so that another 25%, which simply means that minimum of 25% of this IOC's budget are spent in Nigeria. And there is every prospect that by 2027, which is 10 years from now, we can eat the 70% uh, threshold, so that at least for once, if you are a local contractor, you can be confident enough that you will have uh, jobs or contract from this oil and gas industry once you have all it takes to do such contracts. Now, at the end of the investigation, if the committee investigating this matter finds out that Nigeria has been shortchanged in, in one way or the other in the, with this um, Agena project, what would the committee be recommending to the Senate? If at the, during uh, this investigation and by the time we'll be concluding, we notice that uh, Nigeria has been shortchanged, there have been overpricing, and uh, a lot has gone down the drain. One thing we'll be recommending is for Nigeria to go to another renegotiation for them to you know, get this job uh, done in Nigeria. And this is where we call it a day on this week's edition of The Gavel. If you have any views on any of the issues discussed, please email us on thegavel at channelstv.com. Thank you for staying with us and see you again next week.